I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra 5G. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price I paid for my retail version is 1,150 bucks. Now that's for 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. If you want the eight gig of RAM and 256 storage version, that one's gonna run you 1,100 bucks. Now I bought this from Giztop. And on a side note, this is not a sponsored video. The only reason I'm mentioning the website is because Giztop is a reputable website where I buy a lot of my phones from. I bought all of my Oppo phones, all of my Xiaomi phones, all of my Redmi phones. They have excellent customer service and fast shipping speeds. Now, one more thing I wanna mention about Giztop. As of right now, the Mi 11 Ultra is the Chinese version. If you want the international version, you're gonna have to wait. That one's not out yet, but when it does come out, I'll update the link in the description. Now, I promised y'all I was gonna wait to do my full review until I get my retail version because I've been having one issue with my review unit and I wanted to make sure that it's not a bug. But I also did something that I usually don't do. I reached out to a, a bunch of other tech YouTubers and asked them if they was having the same issue on their Mi 11 Ultras and everybody's having the same problem. All right, so it's not a bug, it's an issue. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Okay, let's get started. Now, this is gonna be a long video, all right? This is the Snyder Cut. So fellas, grab your thought juice, <laughs> grab your popcorn, light them if you got them. Ladies, if you like the sound of my voice, grab your baby oil and a cucumber and get comfortable. I'm gonna start off by unboxing the retail version and then I'm gonna review the one that I've already been using for the last week. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Okay, here we go. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra 5G. And the G stands for gangster. Now, if you notice, this is the retail version. This is the one, the international version. A lot thicker on the box because it did come with a charger. The retail version, no charger in the box. But I will say this, if you buy it from Giztop, you spend an extra 20 bucks and you get the 67 watt fast charging brick <laughs> included. Okay, now before I go any further, late but still great, ladies and gentlemen, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Calm down. I'm going to have to dock you because you keep coming in late. Like I was saying, all right, if you order from Giztop, you spend an extra 20 bucks, you get the 67 watt fast charging brick. Now that's not a bad deal. And if you spend an extra 100 bucks, you get the 67 watt fast wireless charging stand. Now I ordered that one also. I'll update y'all when that one comes in. Okay, here we go. Mi 11 Ultra, retail version. Inside the box, you got your SIM ejection tool. Let's see, you got your usual books and shit, pluck them and follow them. You do get a case. All right, now this is a nice touch. We're gonna talk about this case in a minute because it's actually kind of important. Okay, file that to the side. And you get your device. Now, of course, since I had the review unit in black, I had to go with the white version. Okay, I just did that the hard way, why not? Right. Okay, ceramic back white version. Let me do the smell test on this one. This one smells like white shoes white. All right, this is the ceramic white version. Now it comes in three colors, all right? You got Wesley Snipes black, you got white shoes white, and they also have a marble version, which is pretty much white, but a little bit of black accents that makes it look like a marble back finish. Okay, now let's see the, if you notice from the uh, international version, it did have a dongle. Let's see if you spend 20 bucks. Now I'm not really gonna gripe about this too much because 20 bucks for a 67 watt fast charging brick, that's pretty good. But let's see, did they give us a dongle also? I doubt it. I doubt it. No dongle in the box. Just a big boy, 67 watt fast charging brick. All right, shoes. 
<laughs> Shoot, you're supposed to be inspecting quality cables you down here, chewing on my foot. USB A to USB type C, charging cable. And again, the big boy, 67 watt fast charging brick. Now, as far as the phone itself, whew, I don't know which one I like better. I think I like the white version better. I don't know what y'all think. I think I like the white version better. Anyway, Birdman hands rubbing together. Let's start this review. Now, I know the number one question everybody's going to ask me is, is this phone really killing the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5 Gangsta Alpha Omega Supreme? Is it really killing that phone? Well, let me set this up correctly, okay? We're going to put Team Xiaomi right here. We're going to put the Samsung right here. And I'm giving y'all a preview of my new show called Judge Carter. It's coming out. Uh, on Netflix and HBO Max real soon. All right, Judge Carter, episode number one. The People versus the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra 5G. Will the defendant please rise? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Jury foreman, pass me the verdict slip. Okay, I'm gonna publish the verdict. The Superior Court of Android Phones in the matter of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, case number BA097211. We, the jury, in the above title action, find the defendant, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, guilty of the crime of first degree murder in violation of Penal Code 187-A, a felony upon the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra as charged in count one of the information. The defendant, you can have a seat. Y'all wanna see a dead body? Ladies and gentlemen, all right, we got a new five gangster in the building. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra 5G is the new top dog. Now I know what y'all saying, all right? I know what y'all saying. Wasn't I always a Samsung knight, a Samsung ride or die for the last 10 years? The answer is yes, all right? But if you know me, you know my motto, I only pledge allegiance to the hotness. And right now, this is the hotness. Let me break it down for you real quick. Now, as far as the Galaxy S21 Ultra, this is still a big boy. All right, it's still a big boy. I love the look of it. This might be the best looking phone of the year, except for one other phone, the Oppo Find X3 Pro. This might be the second best looking phone of the year. We'll see. I love One UI. I love the video lock screens. Okay, I love all of the edge panels, all of the multitasking tools, like the animated gift maker. I love Samsung DeX, and I love Samsung wireless DeX, which is arguably the best feature that you're gonna find on any cell phone out right now. But, all right, here comes the big but. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is killing the Galaxy S21 Ultra. All right, shoes, I need you to calm down, okay? With the Mi 11 Ultra, you got a brighter display. You're talking about 1700 nits brightness. Now y'all know how I feel about the nits. This phone is super bright, all right? Especially for somebody like me, that's a douchebag and always got their phone on max brightness, that's clutch. This phone feels faster, it feels smoother. Look at that. Look at that animation. Look how fast and smooth that is. You got a better fingerprint sensor, better face unlock, faster battery charging, and I don't just mean faster, way faster battery charging. You got louder speakers. You got a better camera with more zoom, all right? More scumbag zoom, 120. Wide angle lens, wait till I show you all the pictures. This is the best wide angle lens camera on the market. You got thought protection. You got an IR blaster, one of the most underrated features on phones. And my favorite feature, the secondary display. Now, I know a lot of y'all think it's gimmicky, all right? But wait till I show y'all how to really use it. Samsung, you had a nice run, all right? You can't be on top forever. You had a nice run. This is now officially the second best Android phone on the market as of right now. The Mi 11 Ultra is the new five gangster. Now, just like any other video, or any other review that I do, there's always gonna be some things that I don't like, 
So let's talk about those first. Number one, no charger in the box. Now, here we go again. Here we go again. Now, look, I don't know if you buy the international version or you're going to get the charger in the box. Is it going to come just like this? Or is it only the Chinese version that doesn't come with the charger? I don't know yet. But I'm only talking about my retail version. This is the one that I paid for. There's no charger in the box. Now, at over a thousand bucks, that's trash. Okay, that's trash. They need to put the charger in the box just like they did on the international version, just like a lot of these other companies are doing. Put the charger in the box. Next, no headphones or dongle in the box. Now, that's not the biggest deal in the world, but again, if you're spending over a thousand bucks, stop being cheap. Give us the dongle, give us a case, give us headphones, all right? We're spending this kind of money. We want we want to get we want to get maximum for our dollar. Y'all should want the same thing. I know that's what I want. Okay, now a lot of y'all, y'all happy to say, oh well, who cares? I'll just go and buy a charger. I'll just go. No, it's not who cares. I care. Okay, give me that dongle. If y'all watch my unboxing, y'all seen the genuine excitement in my voice when I pulled out that dongle. There was no excitement on this version. Next, no expandable memory. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, one more thing I want to mention too, I just thought about. When I say expandable memory, I mean expandable storage, all right? Shout out to the YouTube correction officers that's always coming at me for that. When we're talking about phones, there's no expandable RAM on phones, all right? So when, when you hear somebody say expandable memory, they're not talking about RAM, they're talking about storage, all right? A lot of fucking nerds keep hitting me up talking about, no, you told you mean expandable storage. If we're talking about computers, that's one thing. When you're talking about phones and you hear the person say expandable memory, we're talking about storage. I digress. No expandable storage. Let me say it correctly. No expandable storage. Not a deal breaker, but it's kind of important because these phones are capable of shooting 8K video. So you buy this phone, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. You spend 1,000 bucks. You download a whole bunch of apps, download some games, take a bunch of pictures and videos, especially 8K video, that 256 gigs of storage is gonna disappear like that, right in front of your eyes, okay? Now, I know everybody's gonna say, cloud storage this, cloud storage that. I don't care about cloud storage. You got a lot of these mid-range phones still coming out with expandable storage, right? expandable storage. On a $1,000 flagship phone, we need expandable storage, point blank. Next, no headphone jack, that shit's whack. Hashtag bars. I know it's pretty petty, all right? But y'all know my nickname, Petty Roosevelt. I earned that nickname for a reason. Now, I know what some of y'all gonna say. Oh, why are you always talking about headphone jacks? Why are you always talking about headphone jacks? You got all those Bluetooth headphones. Why you care about headphone jack? I keep telling y'all over and over, all right? The 3.5 <coughs> headphone jack on a phone is not only used for headphones. A lot of us have classic cars. We wanna use the aux cable. And everybody knows if you use a Bluetooth transmitter, you're not going to get the same quality as an aux cable. If you like me and you like to DJ and you got a big DJ controller and you want to DJ from your phone instead of a laptop, you're going to have to plug your phone into the DJ controller using a 3.5 millimeter input. Okay, so it's more to life than just headphones. No headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. Next, another petty gripe. Color choices, all right? They need to have more color choices on a flagship phone that's this beastly, black and white and marble, that ain't enough, all right? And, and the thing that kills me is they could have came out with the same transparent back that they had on the Mi 10 Ultra. Imagine how sick this would have looked with the transparent back. Imagine if they would have came out in a little blue color like this Oppo, sick blue or my favorite color, red. If they came out with red and charged an extra 200 bucks, I would have gladly paid it. All right, color choices, this is important. This might be your phone for the next two years. This is what you're gonna have to look at. So why should you have to settle on either white or black? Give me a few funky color choices to choose from. Gold, like Apple is doing, green like Apple did, something else. But this blue Oppo, I'm testing this right now. This is gonna be my next flagship phone that I'm reviewing. This is kind of a beast. All right, it's not on it's not on me 11 ultra status, but it's up there. All right, it's up there. Next, now this is something that I don't like. I want to show y'all something real quick. The animation for the camera is just too slow. 
You see when you let me let me zoom out real quick. You see when you take a picture, say you try to take two, three pictures, you see how slow that animation is? Now don't get me wrong, you are taking the picture, but if you're outside, this is gonna catch you. Alright, it's gonna catch you and it's gonna trick you. It's gonna trick you. Let me show you what's gonna happen. You're gonna be somewhere, you're gonna take a picture, then you're gonna wanna take another one. You're gonna feel like you didn't take that picture. If you're not looking closely, it did take it. It's just slow. It's just slow. It, just, it should have been faster. You see, now I did get all of those pictures. But it's just, it's, it's just slow. It's just a little, it's just a little slow. I, I, I just don't like that. I, I'm, I'm just going to keep it a buck. I don't like that. Let's exit out of that. All right, so the camera animation, they need to speed that up. Next. Now, this is something that I really don't like. I'm not even going to call this petty. You got the big boy secondary display on the back. If you go to settings, you can only make this stay on for 30 seconds. That's kind of whack. That, that's kind of whack. If you got a big secondary display like this, you're gonna want you're gonna want people to see this. Are you gonna you, you're gonna want people to see this to know that you got the big boy out right now when you got it under the table. This should be always on display. All right, this should have an option that you can leave this on all of the time. You know, because that kind of defeats the purpose if you gotta go like this to tap it to turn it on. If I'm having dinner with somebody and I don't want to look like a scoundrel and keep looking at my phone, checking the time so I can make my swift exit, I don't want to have to go like this to check the time. I, I want to just glance down and see the time and I don't want to have the phone up like this, okay? Because I want to be on scumbag mode. I don't want to see my notifications coming in. No, I want to be on scumbag mode with the phone upside down so it looks like I'm just focusing on the conversation. I don't care about my phone, but I can you know, clandestinely, is that a new word, clandestinely? I can clandestinely check my secondary display for the time and start plotting my exit. All right, so secondary display, it needs to be on always on status. Next, now y'all just see me do the wipe down. This is a Supreme fig fingerprint magnet, all right? You're gonna have to walk around with a microfiber cleaning cloth, all right, before you take your Instagram pictures with your margarita, you know what I'm saying? And your big boy, Mi 11 Ultra on the table, you're gonna have to wipe it down. That's one of the things that I love about the S21 Ultra, minimum wipe downs. Right, this phone is always looking like it's ready for warfare. Right, you wanna have a phone war? This phone is always ready to go. No, micro, no microfiber cleaning cloth necessary. This one is a fingerprint magnet. Now, as far as the white version, yes. Okay, yes. This one is a lot better. The black version, I love the ceramic build. The white version, you're not going to see the fingerprints. I think this is the one I'm going to uh, institute into my lineup. One of these phones I'm getting rid of. The other one I'm going to institute into the rotation. Next. Now, this is my biggest gripe. All right, this is my biggest gripe. And this is the one issue that I was telling y'all that I had. And I had to reach out to a bunch of other YouTubers and ask them, are they having the same problem? The battery drains ridiculously fast when you're shooting videos. Now, if you're somebody like me and you like to vlog and you like to shoot long videos, yo, I, I did a vlog with my daughter the other night. All right, now, meanwhile, the phone was already on 60%. I did a little 20-minute uh, vlog. By the end of that shoot, my phone was on 10%. So I said, okay, shoes. <laughs> I said, okay, I must have a defective unit because no phone does that. No phone drains battery that fast just from shooting a little 20-minute video. That gotta be impossible. So I charged it up, did it again, same issue. That's when I reached out to a couple of other YouTubers and said, hey, when y'all recording on your, on your Mi 11, do you notice the battery draining mad fast? And everybody said, yeah, that battery is, is it drains super fast when you're shooting videos. Now, day-to-day -day battery is incredible. It is great, no issues with that. It just drains too fast when you're shooting your videos. Now, that's not a deal breaker for me because one of the best things about this phone is this. Okay, now, if you're going to shoot your vlogs or you're going to make a video somewhere, bring this with you, and when your phone goes down to 0%, you can charge it back up from 0 to 100% in my testing, 41 minutes. All right, now, sometime it went from 30, 39, 40, 40, 41 was the max. All right, from 0 to 100% in 41 minutes. So that makes this an official shit shower and shave phone because you don't need to go from zero to 100 for a full day. You can go from zero to 60 and rock out. So whatever time, depending on what you had for lunch, you take that shit, you take a shower, then you shave. You might grab some Raymond, you, Raymond noodles, do whatever you get, whatever you get, get a donut. By the time you do all of that, your phone should be 90 to 100% charged. 
There it is. Now, I know what you're saying. All right, I know what you're saying. That's a couple of dislikes. How is that killing the galaxy? I'm gonna tell you why right now, after this quick commercial break. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, the build quality. The build quality on this phone is epic. You got Gorilla Glass V on the front. All right, that's the strongest Gorilla Glass. You got the aluminum frame, ceramic on the back, and the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. Now, it does have a heavyweight premium feel to it. Feels good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Build quality, A1. Next, let's talk about the look. Now, I do like the look of the Galaxy S21 a little bit better, but I like the look of this one too. Now, y'all know the old saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and since I'm the one that beholding the phone, I think this one looks great. I like the big back, because it's not just a big giant square back for no reason, it's a big square back that's actually functional. You got a secondary display up in there. Now, this is another thing I wanted to mention, cases. Cases are gonna be important for this phone, especially if you don't like this look, and you don't like the way it sits on the table. When you drop the case on, if you notice, now it kind of makes the back of the phone a little bit more level. Now this is just a gel skin case, so it's not gonna make it completely flush. I'm hoping companies like Spigen come out with a tough armor case, you know, a two part style case, TPU with hard shell on top of it, that's gonna make it completely flush. Or maybe an extended battery case. Whatever they come out with, doesn't matter to me because I actually like the back of the phone. I, I might be in a minority here, but it is what it is. Next, let's talk about the feel of the phone. All right? Not the way the phone feels in your hand. How does the, make the, the phone make you feel emotionally? All right? How do you feel emotionally when you hold this phone? There's a couple of different uh, emotions that you have out right now. When you're holding an iPhone, the emotion that you're gonna feel is trendy. Uh, you're, gonna have, you're gonna have a trendy feel to yourself because you know all of the rappers, all of the actors, all of your favorite people that you see on TV, everybody got an iPhone. You walk up in Starbucks, everybody got an iPhone. You're gonna feel like you're part of the in crowd when you hold your iPhone. Same thing, when you hold the Galaxy, all, right, all of the Samsung Knights, you know what I'm talking about. Samsung has a real name in the cell phone game. You're gonna feel like you got the top dog Android phone. All right, you're gonna feel like you right up there, the cutting edge of technology. And when you see somebody with an iPhone, you're gonna feel like you got more features than them because you really do. How does this phone make you feel emotionally? You're gonna feel like the supreme Android boss. All right, because when your boy comes up next to you with the Galaxy S21 and y'all ready to have your little phone wars, First of all, you got the secondary display on the back. Let's go ahead and light that up real quick. Just from the back alone, you're already winning. All right? You're going to feel like a winner. All right? That's what I'm trying to say. You're going to feel like a winner. You're going to know you got 67 watt fast wireless charge and wired charge. So this phone can charge up faster wirelessly or wired than your Galaxy. Twice as fast. Okay, so the way you're going to feel <laughs> with this phone, you're going to feel like a winner. Next. Let's talk about animations. I don't want to show you something real quick. Let me grab the S21. This is um a little small pet peeve of mine. I'm going to plug in the S21. Let me grab a USB Type-C charger real quick. Let me see what I got on deck over here. Hold up. Bear with me, y'all. Watch this. Okay. Got the S21 Ultra. I'm going to plug it in. Look at the animation. Now, that's the same animation from the last eight, eight, nine years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this animation never changed. It just looks, it just looks bland. Look at that. You don't feel any power coming to the phone. Now watch the animation when I plug this one in. Look at that. You see the phone is getting juiced up. Real sick. And if I plug in the wireless charger, let me grab one of those real quick. All right, shoes over here trolling me to death. Let me plug in a wireless charger. Watch the wireless charge animation. Look at that. A different animation for wired and wireless charging. Now I know some of y'all gonna think that's petty, but this goes back to that feel again. All right? This goes back to that emotional feel when you put your phone on the charger. 
All right, look at the Samsung. Let's go ahead and charge this one up. You get that little circle. You barely even know that it activated. I had to look down and see if it was still plugged in. Put the Xiaomi on the charger. Bang. Bright, vibrant, colorful. That's sick. I, I don't care what y'all say, that's sick. Next, always on display. I right, always on display. Now, personally, I think Samsung still makes the best always on display in the game, but Xiaomi is right there too. All right, let me, let me activate the always on display. Let me show you what it looks like. You got always on display. You got the time, you got the date, you got your battery percentage. And as I get notifications, the notifications pop up in color. All right, same thing like on your Galaxy. You see you got blue, fit, uh, blue messages, green, this one, you're gonna get the actual notifications. Let me see, do I have another Xiaomi phone right here that I have any animation, uh, uh, have any uh, notifications? Oh, I got one right now. Let's, you see, I got a Gmail. Let me wait for the always on display. That's the animation you're gonna get. The actual Gmail symbol. All right, so the always on display on this phone is a major go. Next, let's talk about face unlock now i just told y'all that this phone has a better face unlock than the galaxy s21 ultra and it actually does watch the face unlock did y'all you know, see that <laughs> i didn't even mean for it to open that fast i'm not looking at it you see that little face symbol on the top i'm not looking at it now watch when i look at it bang it's almost instantaneously look at that bang let's do another one bang Bang. And look how fast the phone is turning off and on. Going from, I'm not looking at it right now, going from the always on display to the lock screen to the home screen, just like that. Now, if I look at it, watch how fast that transition is. Bang. How does that help you? When you got your phone on the table and you just pick up your phone, you don't have to press any buttons. By the time you go on like this to pick up your phone and your eyes are focusing on your home screen, the phone is already unlocked. Look at that. I'm gonna try to do it one more time. Bang. These might seem like little trivial things to you, but when you're actually using the phone, you're gonna notice the difference. You're gonna notice in day-to-day -day use how much faster and smoother it is than the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And again, I'm a Galaxy S21 Ultra fan. Let me go ahead and unlock this one real quick. I'm a Galaxy S21 Ultra fan. A matter of fact, I might have, I might have took the, I might have took the uh, face unlock off on this one because I enjoy looking at the live wallpaper. I actually did, but I'll show you what I'm talking about with the fingerprint sensor. Okay, now here's the Galaxy fingerprint sensor, which is no slouch, no slouch at all. But look at the Xiaomi fingerprint sensor. Now this is what I'm, what I wanted to mention. Let me just clear my little history right there. You know what I'm saying? Fingerprint sensor. Look how fast this is responsive it's going to work every single time all right so in my opinion and my personal testing this has a better face unlock and a faster fingerprint sensor not knocking the galaxy i right? team samsung i right? samsung knights do not do not form at my front door right? i don't want to see the samsung knights at my front door ready to get at me there's always going to be something better all right? you can't be the best forever this is the new best next Super wallpaper. All right, this is another thing that I like. Now, of course, now I know some of you are going to say, why am I turning this into a Galaxy versus uh, Mi 11 Ultra video? Because these are the two phones out right now. If you got it, if you into Android, these are the two phones you want. All right, the OnePlus 9 Pro, eh. Oppo Find X3 Pro, eh. You know, these are the two heavy hitters right now. So it's, it's only right, it's only right that I show you the differences. The thing I love about Samsung phones, all right, you see that video wallpaper? Remember, you used to be able to have this as a lock screen and a wallpaper. They got rid of that, so you can only have it as a lock screen. Super wallpapers. All right, I love this. This is a super wallpaper. It's a three-part theme. So the first part is always on display. All right. The second part is lock screen. And the third part is home screen. So look at that smooth transition. All right. I'm going to let it go to always on display. You see how they just went to the planet? Now, without looking at it, there's the planet, lock screen, wallpaper. Now, just in case you want to see a different one, let me just uh, open this one up real quick. 
This is now same super wallpapers you're gonna get on a lot of the Xiaomi phones. This is on the uh, Mi 10 Pro. There's the Red Planet. Now I'm not looking at it. Closer look at the Red Planet. Oh, let me, I haven't used this phone in a couple of minutes. Let me just put my code in and then I'll do that again. Okay, here it goes. There's the Red Planet. Closer look at the planet. Ah, let me try that one more time. There's a red planet. Closer look at the planet, all the way down to the surface. Now this face unlock is so dope. You have to, you have to not want it to work. I, right, so I'm, I'm purposely not looking at it. There's a red planet. Closer look, and there's the surface. Super wallpapers. All right, now they got right now. The only knock on the super wallpapers is they, they need a few more. They only got four available right now for this phone, and three of them are planets. And the other one is just random geometrical figures. I wish it would have had a, a little bit more super wallpapers, but I love this. And you're going to find yourself going like this all the time. Right, you're going to find yourself going like this and being transported to the planet's surface all of the time. All right, so super wallpapers is a go. I feel like I didn't do it right with the, um, <laughs> the Mi 10. Let me give y'all a full effect. All right, there it is. You see how it just brings you in and boom, it's actually still moving a little bit. Oh, pretty sick, pretty sick. Next, let's talk about PowerShare. All right, now, we don't have to mention the Galaxy because Galaxy has PowerShare also. PowerShare is one of those features that you didn't know you needed until you need it. You know what I'm saying? Until you need it. Now, let me show you how this works. I'm going to turn on PowerShare. Let's go to, um, let's go to settings. Let's go to... Power share while wow, reverse wireless charging. Bang. So I just turned it on. Now, I can grab an iPhone, put my iPhone on it. Bang. iPhone is charging up. Then I can charge up headphones and plenty of other things, such as, look at this, such as my new BMW car key. Zoom in on that real quick. You see the car key is actually charging up. Now look, I know some of y'all gonna say, oh, reverse wireless charging, that's kind of a gimmick. Yeah, it's kind of a gimmick until a lot of modern cars are starting to come out with car keys that look like this. You know, car keys that actually have screens and you can actually use. This car key is wireless charge and it lasts for about a week. Now, once the battery dies on it, it still works as a key. You know, I can still unlock the car and do everything. I'm just not going to have access to the screen. Now, when I first got this key, this is a little custom key. On a side note, if you got a BMW M Series, M3, M5, M6, X7M, uh, whatever M Series you got, if you want a key like this, DM me on Instagram. I got a plug. All right? Not only it doesn't work for only new cars, works on any M car. When the guy came to my house to do it, he was trying to show me how to use the key, but he didn't charge his key. So his key was completely dead. And the one knock about this key is, in order to charge it using a cable, you're gonna have to um, kind of take it apart a little bit. And you don't wanna keep doing that. You really gotta charge this wirelessly. And in the new cars, it has a slot that you put it in and it'll wirelessly charge. So the guy came to my house, his key was completely dead and he couldn't even show me how it looks. I'm like, look, put it on my phone. I had the time, at the time I had my Galaxy Pulled out my Galaxy, put the key on it, bam, charging right up. This is sick. All right, reverse wireless charging is not a gimmick. Now, every time I go to dinner, I can charge my key while I'm sitting at the table. And what makes this phone a little bit better right, than the Galaxy is because not only am I charging my key, I still got my secondary display. Now, if I was charging this on the back of my Galaxy, if I want to, if I want to use, um, uh, see if I got a notification on my Galaxy, got to stop charging, turn it over. This phone, I can still be charging up my key and using the secondary display for the time, my notifications, phone calls, go crazy. I'm gonna show you how dope that secondary secondary display is in a minute. Now I got OCD, so if y'all see me going like this, I just can't stand looking at those fingerprints. It is what it is. Let's keep it moving. Oh, okay. Next, let's talk about the display okay this display right here is the brightest display that i've used on any android phone yet 1700 nits brightness now if you don't know what nits are right if you don't know what nits are you don't need to know all you need to know is this phone is mad bright 
Okay? Now, I don't care what viewing angles you can put this shit upside down. There's no viewing angle that you could put this phone in and not see it. You can stand outside directly in the sun and you can still use this phone with no problems. Big, beautiful display, 120 hertz refresh rate, quad HD panel. This is insane. Okay? Again, I don't like spending $1,000 on any phone. But if I'm going to spend a thousand bucks on a phone, this is the kind of phone that I want. And this is the kind of performance that I want. Basically bezel-less. Now you got a little punch hole camera. Beautiful display. Matter of fact, let me show you how beautiful this, uh, this display looks in action. All right, check this out. Look at this display. Okay. Again, quad HD, 120 hertz refresh rate. This is what you call bezel-less. Okay. There's no chin, no forehead. This is bezel-less display and subtle curves. I subtle curves, no accidental touches on this one. This display is magnanimous. All right, big words alert. Now, all jokes aside though, I love this display, okay? Now, a lot of people don't like the punch hole camera in the front and they prefer pop-up cameras. Look, that's just one thing you gotta more, one more thing you gotta worry about is Dropping your phone now. Look, I know a lot of the, a lot of people think that fall detection is going to always stop your camera from breaking. Go on the forums, all right? Go on the forums for people that got pop up cameras and watch how many people broke that pop up camera. I'd rather have a little punch hole in the front as opposed to a secondary mechanism that I got to worry about. Anyway, the display psh, out of this world. Let's keep it moving. Next. Let's talk about the secondary display. All right, secondary display. Now I'm gonna take it to settings. I wanna show y'all something real quick. Let's go over the settings. No, one more thing I wanted to mention. Now with the uh, MIUI, all right, with MIUI, you got two different menus, all right? So if you swipe down, now I got it set like this, but you can set it to have, just swipe down and just have all your regular Android notifications like this, or you can have two swipes. All right, so one swipe, this is all your toggles. And that's it, no notifications. And the second one, all notifications. Now you can kind of use that in your scumbag activities, all right, if you want to swipe down and you don't want people to see your notifications, but you still want to activate your flashlight or you want to activate your floating windows or something, you won't accidentally swipe down and see a notification, all right? You always got to have your scumbag tactics on the back of your mind. Now I want to show you something about the secondary display. Okay, let me type that in real quick. Okay, this will be for your rear display. Now, of course, you got a bunch of different themes. All right, so I got the clock. You see, you got clock on the top. You can have it go vertically or horizontally. You got signature. Now, you see, I changed mine to Flossie Carter and white shoes. Now, for the signature, I can move it around. I can enlarge it, center it, go crazy with it. Or you can have an image. All right, so I had a big white shoe, say <laughs> a big white shoes picture as my secondary display. Not to mention, you can add the date and time, add battery percentage, and you see that little red dot that I just added? That's notifications, all right? So if you got a missed notification, you have that little red dot pop up. Now, I know what some of y'all gonna say. Okay, secondary display, that's kind of gimmicky because the only thing you can use it for is camera. So let's go to camera, right? Let's activate secondary display, and now I can use my secondary display as a viewfinder and get better selfies with those pictures. But it doesn't just stop there, all right? It doesn't just end there. Think about it like this. Now, I just blew my sister's mind the other night. That was actually last night. When I went to take a picture of her, the person that you're taking a picture of, they can look at the camera and see their face and they can actually pose. So now that's a secondary use for it. Not to mention, watch this, all right? Now, that, you think it's just all camera stuff. Watch this. Let me grab another phone real quick. Watch this. Now, this is, this is what I use the secondary display for the most. I'm gonna send myself a text message. Hold up, all right, Samsung, calm down. I'm gonna send myself a text message. Let me get a little wipe down for my OCD. Okay, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put, hey. Okay, now watch this. Y'all watching? Keep watching. Look at that. Got a message from Flossie that says, hey. <sighs> Let's do hi. One more time. Keep your eye on that. Bong. Text message with the words on it. How sick is that on the table? 
Yo, this is crazy. Now watch this, watch this. Now I'm gonna call myself. This is where it gets crazy. All right, this is where it gets crazy. Calling myself right now from the trap number. Okay, it's ringing. Look at this. I'm getting a call right now. Now it says, watch this. I can answer or decline the call right from the back of the phone. So while the phone is on the table, without even picking it up, I can just answer it. Bang, now I'm on the phone. I can hang up the call just like that. Secondary display is not a gimmick. All right, it's definitely not a gimmick. Pretty much, like I always say, anything is a gimmick if you don't use it. But you gotta, if you're gonna buy this phone for a thousand bucks, get in the habit of using the secondary display. All right, now, I didn't even know that the full text message would come out like that. Let me do one more. Let's do um, test. Until one day I just had it on the table, I got a text message, and it popped up like this, and I lost my shit. And I went crazy. Everybody was like, what are you getting so hyped for? I'm like, nah, I thought it was just gonna be that little red dot saying that I got a message. No, it's the actual message. And the good thing about it is, it's the contact name and not the number, all right? So this way, if you got your Pizza Hut, you know, you fellas, you know what I'm talking about. If you got Pizza Hut saved in your phone, it'll be Pizza Hut popping up, all right? No numbers, just the Pizza Hut. Same thing with the phone calls. Let's do that one more time. I don't know why I find this so dope. Watch this. Let, 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 here it goes. Here it goes. This is how it's going to look if you had your phone on the table. All right? Look at that. I'm getting an incoming call. Now, I don't even have to pick it up. I could just double tap on it. And bang, if I have my Bluetooth headset on, I'll be on the phone right now while I'm sitting at the table. Bang, chilling. Y'all yeah, hear the speaker? Then bang, I'm out of here. While my keys could still be charging up on the back of the phone. Sick. All right, this is sick. Let's keep it moving. All right, so secondary display, definitely not a gimmick. This is one of the features that's uh, killing the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5 Gangster. Next, let's talk about the speakers. All right, let's talk about the speakers. Now, this is the part that I haven't tested yet because I wanted to do this live with y'all, with y'all, like if we really sitting here live. Right now, in my opinion, the Mi 10 Pro has the best speakers that I've ever heard on any phone, period. Better than the iPhone, better than the Galaxy. All right, so we're gonna test this out versus its predecessor and see. Let's pull up um, the same video. Okay, and listen to these speakers, yo. Let's um, let's get to let's get to speakers are ridiculous. All right, look at this. Okay, now y'all hear these speakers? Now I'm gonna pull up the same video real quick. Let's see. Okay, here it goes. Okay, now for the test. Let's get max volume. Okay. This is the Mi 11 Ultra. Speakers sound incredible. Mi 10. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to do it like this. Okay. 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these speakers sound exactly the same as the Mi 10 Pro. So, by default, that makes these the new best sounding speakers. Now, let's just let's just put it to rest though because, you know, I, I, I don't I'm not always right. I do be making mistakes occasionally once in a blue moon. You know, let's try the Galaxy speakers. Okay. Get max volume. Here's the Galaxy speakers. I'm gonna do it side by side again. Nope. Yeah, these speakers sound louder and clearer. Let me wait for that drum. Okay, now I'm holding the phone in my hand. I actually feel vibration. Nope, it's not even close, not even close. 
All right, listen closely. I hope y'all got on headphones. This is way better. All right, it's not even close. This is way better. So, we got a new speaker champ, even though this is still the old champ, but this phone is getting ready to be phased out, which on a side note, the Mi 10 Pro, I said this before and I'm gonna say it again, this phone can still survive in today's market. Like if I had to take this phone with me right now on vacation and use it as my daily driver, I would not be like, oh, I wish I had a different phone. This phone right here, if you could find this phone, I'll leave a link for the description, I'll leave link, link in the description for the cheapest that I found it for. But if you could get this phone right now for 500 bucks, I would jump on this before I get any of the new Samsung A72s and all of these new gaming phones. I would jump on this phone in a heartbeat. Shoes, you know about quality. All right, shoes, you know about quality. Shoes said, she, she seen the Mi 10 Pro come out. She was like, oh, white shoes, white, I'm back. And look at the pearl back finish on this one. Again, this is one of my with gripes with the colors. They should have came out with this pearl back. They should have came out with the transparent back. These two phones right here. Everybody keep asking me, how come I never sold these two phones? I love them, that's why. I love them. Is this one, look, I still got this one on the same super wallpaper. Crazy. Anyway, so as far as the speakers, we got a new champ, Mi 11 Ultra. Next, let's talk about battery real quick. Now I'm gonna try to wrap this up. Let's talk about battery real quick. As far as screen on time, I don't do those tests anymore because that's not realistic. I, most people is not gonna just have their phone on for six hours straight. And if you do have it on six hours straight, you're gonna have it on like this, on the charger, or plugged in. If you're watching a movie, most people don't really use the phone like that. And battery tests are so subjective, everybody uses their phone differently. Me, I use my phone on max brightness. I got a thousand notifications. If I post an Instagram picture, I got a thousand notifications coming in. You know what I'm saying? I post a YouTube video, a thousand comments coming in. So my phone is being used harder than the average person's phone. With that being said, I'm still easily, and I mean easily, able to get a full eight hour day with no problems. On max brightness, on max notifications, 120 hertz, quad HD, everything. The only downside to the camera is if you're gonna be vlogging outside, you better bring a battery charger with you, portable battery charger, or you better bring that plug. If the battery's gonna drain fast. Uh, 67 watt fast charging, my, like, I, like I said earlier, I don't know if I said it, maybe I did or not. Zero to 100% in 41 minutes. That was the last test I did. Exactly 41 minutes and maybe 26 seconds. Of, but it didn't reach 42. 41 minutes, which is incredible. Now, if y'all watch my video test that I did for the Mi 11 out uh, of Mi 10 Ultra, this one actually charged faster, but the battery is smaller. So you, you, you assume it to charge faster. This one has a 5,000 milliamp battery, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, but 40, uh, 41 minutes, that's insane. Now. You can also charge it at that same speed using wireless charger. I can't wait to get that. Uh, I think it's 120 watts that they selling on GiveStop. It's 100 bucks. It's 120 watts. It's a wireless charging stand. You're gonna be able to wirelessly charge your phone in the same speed that you charge it wired. Samsung, I'm gonna need y'all to take notes. Now look, we've been we, we've been cracking a lot of jokes and ragging on Samsung, but keep in mind, Samsung ain't dead yet because they got an event coming up this week. So, this this run for the, the, the Xiaomi Mi 11, the run at the top, it might be short. All right, it might be short depending on what Samsung comes up with, but Samsung, I, I brought this phone out again real quick because I wanna to talk to y'all. We're gonna need more than 25 watt fast charging. Right? That's bullshit in this day and age when you got phones for the same price with 67 watts and you coming out with 25 watt charging and you're not even putting the charger in the box. <laughs> I, you know, so you see the dramatic pause. I'm like, you know, when you're scolding your kid, you know, when you're yelling at your kid, and and before they walk away, you just stare them down, and then they walk away. They, you know, they sulk away. You tell them some shit like, and don't ever do that again. Little stare down, and they walk away. That's how I had to do the Samsung just now. Let's keep it moving. Next, let's talk about gaming. Now, I'm not even gonna disrespect this phone and pull out Asphalt Nine. I, right, I'm not even gonna do that. Y'all seen me playing Asphalt 9 yesterday on the Galaxy A52 with no problems at all. This is the Snapdragon 888. Uh, so you already know it's gonna run Asphalt 9. It doesn't even make any sense to do that test. I already did, I played a little Asphalt anyway just cause I wanted to hear the speakers. No problems with the gaming on this phone, all right? If you buying this phone to game on it, you're gonna, you're gonna have a good time. 
All right. Let's keep it moving. Next, let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now, this is one of my favorite tests because, you know, this is what most people are going to do. Most people are not buying phones just to sit around and review them. Most people buy phones to use them. So let's use it. Regular daily activities. Now, since this phone has wireless charging, we got to set it up correctly. Okay. This is how your phone is going to look on the table on your nightstand next to your bed. Wirelessly charging up with a fresh always on display. So you wake up in the middle of the night, check the clock. If I was 1028, go back to sleep. Now, wake up in the morning. It's time to get up. I'm going to grab my phone. I'm not going to touch anything. All right. As soon as I look at it, bang, right to the home screen, just like that. All right. I still got the eye crust. All right. Wiping out the eye crusties. I'm already in the phone. Check the weather. Okay. Tomorrow uh, looks like partly cloudy. Looks like it's going to be a nice day to do some camera testing on this Oppo Find X3 Pro. Bang, we out of there. Look at those smooth animations. All right, now, take it over to Facebook. Let's see what's going down on Facebook. Okay, let's see. Monica, happy Sunday. All right, let's go ahead and like that. Why not? Let's see what's going on. Snoop Dogg. All right, Bump Box Flare 8. Okay, cool. I already got that. It's me hanging out with my team. You know what I'm saying? The other night, hanging out with the team. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, uh, my niece. Okay, let me get in like that too. Why didn't I like my own photo of me? Got in like that too. Let's see, uh, my aunt over here chefing it up. I just gained about two pounds looking at that macaroni and cheese. All right, shout out to my aunt. Straight chef status. Okay, let's see. This is our June Smith with her boo. All right, she's chilling with her boo. Okay. See, my mom's posting some old school Red Hook photos. Let me get in like that too. All right, you know what I'm saying? I let my brother stunt with my watch. You know what I'm saying? My brother out here is capping. All right, my brother out here capping for Facebook. Let me get him like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind people capping. I don't, I don't mind at all. Anyway, that, 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 that's how Facebook is going to look. Let's keep it moving. Next, let's take it over to uh, Twitter. Okay? Let's hit up my mentions, see if anybody's talking about me. Let's see what's going down. Okay. Uh, now, I did post on Instagram that I'm going to upload this video. So somebody said, am I going to post it tonight? The answer is no. <laughs> I posted it tomorrow. Because it's going to take all night to edit this fucking movie up. Let's see. Uh, somebody said, could this be the Samsung killer? I big mun. Yes, it is. A path forward. Can't wait. All right, okay, I, I respect that. Yo, let's go. Okay, look, I'm getting a lot of love right now. Somebody bought the Sennheiser Momentums based on my review. Real nice. Okay, now look, the only reason I'm doing this right now and talking and interacting because this is regular shit that you're going to do on your phone. All right, I'm simulating a regular day. Exit out of Twitter, but you see that scrolling speed real dope. Exit out. Next, okay, let's take it over to TikTok. Why not? Now, I did post a TikTok video. Let me go ahead and um, mute the volume so I don't get um, anybody beefing. Okay, I posted a TikTok video of White Shoes chilling. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can head over to my TikTok if y'all want to see one of my two videos that I posted. I actually posted two videos. I did one of the new steering wheel. Exit out of that. And of course, let's take it over to my favorite video. Mm, favorite video. Where is it? Bang. Get some volume on this one. I think you look like a Me and Amaya. Chef. Thank you, Daddy. I know y'all tired of seeing this video. Who cares? All right. Love this video. Yeah, I like it again. Man. I like this video once a day. Yet. Back here, back here, wiping the tear, man. They 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 grow up so fast, yo. Anyway, that's it for TikTok. Let's do one more. Let's get a little bit spicy now. <laughs> this is a. I gotta throw out the disclaimer. I, my Instagram does tend to get a little bit spicy, so if you got kids, this is the time to send them to the kitchen to go get you some some Kool Aid or something. We might see some cakes right here. All right, my shorty just posted a little photo. Let me get in like that. Let's see. Um, oh, this is my cousin. This is a, her new boo. Let me see what he looking like. Okay, he look, he look like a he look like a good dude. I like him. Who this? Uh, technical or oh, uh, tactical minded? Shout out to tactical minded. All right, another YouTuber. Got some burners on deck. I'm have to see if he could send me one of those illegally. All right, Tony Baker. I already know he talking some funny shit. All right, my man Killer K. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's kind of like that photo too. All right, politics. Let me go ahead and skip that. Okay, now this is um some muscle cheeks right here. Okay, now y'all know this chick. 
Straight, yo, this chick right here, she would probably body slam one of y'all cats. Y'all cats better step your game up and go to the gym. Otherwise, chicks like this would be body slamming your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just keeping it a buck, yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, fire department. I respect those dudes. All right, little kids. I like them. <laughs> Got a little world star. Little, little, okay. A little activity going on. Little, little memes. You know I like the memes. Bokeem Woodbine. That's my guy. Okay. It's going to like that photo. It's going to like that too. Everybody, everybody look. Hey, okay, my dude. Everybody looking like they're having a nice Sunday. Cat videos. I love them immediately. Let's see if we could get any any spice before I get out of here. Okay. But as soon as I said that. Now, one thing. Now, you can zoom in. All right, just in case, you know, you forgot your glasses and you really need to zoom in on the cheeks. You could do that too. It's going to like that. Real nice Ernie and Bert. Okay. Cat videos. Going to save that. Let's see if we get one more one more spice episode before we get out of here. Cat videos. I'm just scrolling because I know I know Calvin is watching at home right now with his baby all in his hand. Like oh, I need to see one more. All right, Calvin, this is for you. I right, pause the video right now. And do your thing. All right, let's keep it moving. Anyway, regular daily activities. This phone is a beast. All right, anything that you could do on any other phone, you can do it on this phone with no problems at all. Now. I want to talk about the camera right after this quick commercial break. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now let's talk about the camera. Of course, you got your world star hip hop button. Hit the power button twice. Bong, that activates your camera. Take your photos just like that. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got pro mode, change your white balance, your shutter speed, your autofocus, your exposure, your lenses, go crazy. You got video. Now you got wide angle, video, all the way up to 15 times zoom. All right, 15 times zoom on the video. Now I will say this, on the Galaxy phone, if you go to video, you do have more zoom. All right, on the Galaxy phones, you got up to 20 times zoom on your videos. All right, so that does have a little bit more zoom, but when it comes to wide angle lens, all right, when it comes to wide angle lens, look at this on your photos. The wide angle lens on this camera is the widest that I've seen yet. And I'm going to prove it to you in a minute. So you got regular, you got wide angle lens, and you got 120 times scumbag zoom. 120 times. Now, if you're new to my channel and you're wondering why I keep saying scumbag zoom, imagine if you're up on your balcony or you're up at a resort somewhere and you're on the 22nd floor. And you zoom your camera down to the people that's laying outside the pool, fellas. You zoom on in that girl's bikini from the 22nd floor. That's a scumbag move. All right, now, I don't advocate doing that. But the feature's there just in case you, you want to try it for yourself. Now, I've tried it in the name of science. It's real scummy. All right, it's definitely scumbag zoom. You got portrait mode and you got more. So you got night, you got 50, uh, 50 megapixels, you got short videos, panorama, documents, vlogs, slow motion, time lapse, movie effects, long exposure, super moon, which I never tried out yet, and multicam. Now if you turn, turn on multicam, it's gonna have six pictures at the same time, wide, super wide, closer, the uh, front facing camera and rear facing camera all at the same time. Now I will say this, Samsung does have a better slow motion. All right? This Galaxy has a better slow motion camera, but the wide angle lens on this, here's how I'm gonna prove it to you real quick. Now usually, when I show y'all the pictures and videos, I don't like to say what I like or what I dislike. You got eyes, you can see for yourself. You look at the pictures and be the judge for yourself. Now that's why I try to take the same pictures over and over, the firehouse, you know, the corner of my blocks, you know, the school, you know what I'm saying? I, I try to take the same pictures over and over. So if you like these pictures, go to another phone uh, review and look at those pictures. You're going to see the same nighttime photos. You can see which one is better. This is one picture that I got to show y'all real quick because I know you never seen it because I never seen it either. I never seen it on any of my camera tests. Watch this. Look at this. Now, y'all always see me take a picture of this Queen's mural. You've never seen the whole mural. All right, this is the widest wide angle lens. Let me see, do I still have that picture in the gallery of my uh, Galaxy phone? Let's see. Let's go to camera, because I'm pretty sure I took that same picture in wide angle mode. Yep, I sure did. Now look at this. This is the picture in wide angle lens from the Galaxy. Right, you see the orange? 
You see green, you see blue and orange, right? You can't see the other two heads. Look at the difference. Hold on, let me zoom that. Look at the difference in wide angle. All right, I'm gonna put them side by side. Look at the two, look at the two shots. These are both the same wide angle shots. This is crazy. All right, the Mi 11 has the best wide angle lens on the market right now. We're waiting to see what Sony drops with their new phone, but I don't think they they don't really specialize in the wide angle department. But we you never know. Anyway, take a look at these test pictures and videos and keep this in the back of your mind. A lot of times I'm gonna take one shot, I'm not gonna move, I'm gonna take another shot in wide angle and watch how wide it gets. Also, I wanna show y'all something real quick. Look at the 120 times scumbag zoom. All right, I'm gonna show you exactly what, what I mean by that. I'm gonna narrate this part, then I'll show it to you for yourself, okay? Now I'm standing on the corner, I'm all the way across the street. You can't even see that sign, all right? So then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. There's a sign on the bottom of that building. Zoom in a little bit more. All right, now you can see the sign right there. Those are the two signs, right? Scumbag zoom, you can still read the sign. You can still read it. Look how, look how, de look at the details. You could read this sign from literally a block and a half away. How sick is that? Now I did another test. I'm gonna show you, let me, let me show you that one real quick. I did a test with a license plate. Okay, let me find that one real quick. I was all the way down the block. Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. Watch this, watch this. Okay, now I'm all the way down the block. I'm trying to get the license plate of that fire truck that's on the corner. So I zoomed in, zoomed in a little bit more, zoomed in a little bit more, and bang. Look at that. This is the actual license plate. Clear as day. Now, personally, the times that I use the scumbag zoom, I don't use it in a scummy way. But a lot of times when I park my car and I can't see the sign to let you know, uh, is it a legal parking spot or not? I just pull out my camera and I zoom down on the sign and I can read it without getting out the car. And keep this in mind also, you got the secondary display that you use as a viewfinder. Take a look at these test pictures and videos.
now let's talk about one of my favorite features of the Xiaomi phones, IR Blaster. Now, I don't understand how you used to have IR blasters on Samsung phones and they're not on the phones now. You would think that back in the days when everything didn't have a remote control, why did you need an IR blaster? Well, now everything has a remote control, your refrigerator, your washing machine and dryer, everything you could think of has a remote control. Why not have an IR blaster? Now, a lot of people, when you hear IR blaster, the first thing you think about is TVs. It's way more to it than TVs. Okay, let's go to Mi Remote. Now you see I already got my bedroom TV set up because that's the one I use the most. But you can also have your Mi TV your, or your Mi Box. You got a regular TV, basically any TV that has a remote control. You got your cable box, air conditioners, fans, your smart boxes, AV receivers, that's all your stereos. You got DVD players, projectors, Chinese satellite TV, and cameras, and more. Now, just because it's not listed here, you can pretty much pair this to anything that uses a remote control. So right now I use it on a projector, I use it on my TV, but my main use for using the IR blaster is when I go to hotels, all right? Now look, a lot of hotels, when you get to, here's my actual remote for my TV right now, press the button, turn on the TV. I'm gonna show y'all a little clip, but let me give y'all a little story. Now I travel all of the time, I'm always staying in different hotels, different Airbnbs, and a lot of these hotels nowadays, you know, they, they, they think they slick, they don't want you to use HDMI, all right? They don't want you to bring an HDMI cable and plug in your laptop because this way you can use your own Netflix, use your own Amazon. You don't have to rent their movies, all right? You don't have to rent their movies and you don't have to rent their scumbag movies. So they don't want you to use that. A lot of the remote controls, they don't have the option to change, all right? So if you, if you did bring your own HDMI cable and you plug it in, the, you pick up the hotel remote, you can't change the source. If you're walking around with a Xiaomi phone with an IR blaster and a Mi remote, all you gotta do is pair it up to the TV and bang, hit that channel button and change the source. Or you can hit the source button, bang, change the source. I'm speaking from experience, I do it all the time. All right, I'm not buying no movies, all right? When I go on the road, I'm not buying no movies, I'm not touching no dirty remote controls, everything is right from the phone. Now I'm gonna show y'all a generic clip. I think I use um, my Mi 10 when I made this clip. I'm a, I just keep using the same clip over and over because it's the same concept. So I don't have to keep recording this over and over. But here's how the uh, IR Blaster works. All right, check this out. Now from the phone, I'm gonna select the Mi Remote. I added the Sony controller. Watch this. There's my TV. We're gonna hit the power button. Fully functional remote control. Now if I wanna turn the TV off, Just like that. The IR Blaster is a major go. All right, so now we gotta talk about another one of my favorite features, Second Space, or as we call it on my channel, Thought Protection. Now on a side note, if you're new to my channel and you wonder why I call it Thought Protection, only a thought is gonna pick up your phone when you're not looking and go through it. So if you're dealing with a thought, you need protection. Here's how it works, all right? Watch this. Now I'm gonna open up the phone using my regular fingerprint. You see, this is my regular wallpaper that you've seen for the whole video. Let's go to Facebook. All right, that's me. This is my Facebook. Let's go to Instagram. Okay, this is me. This is my Instagram. Let's go to uh, Twitter. Okay, this is me. This is my, all of my tweets. And let's go to gallery. Here's all of the pictures that I took. Exit out of that. Now, say I'm dealing with a thought and I know she's getting ready to go through my phone, he or she, all right? There's male thoughts too. All I gotta do is place my phone down. Now I'm gonna open it. Instead of using my thumb that you've seen all video, I'm gonna use my first finger. I call this my thought print. Now, if you notice, there's a different wallpaper. All right, totally different wallpaper. Let's go to Facebook. No Facebook logged in. Let's go to Instagram. No Instagram logged in. Let's go to Twitter. No Twitter logged in, and let's go to gallery, no photos. This is like a brand new phone now. I don't even have to lock it. I can leave it on the table just like this. I welcome all thoughts to go look through my phone. Even if I lock it again, open it back up with the same finger, I can use this all night as a regular phone. Now, when I get back to being by myself and I wanna go back to being a gentleman, use my regular thumb and bang. 
It switches back over. There's my Facebook again. I right, still logged in. This is my Instagram again. Let's go to Twitter. Here's my tweets. And let's go back to gallery. All of my pictures on deck. Thought protection. All right. The real name for it is second space or private space. But I call it thought protection. And this is a feature that needs to be on every phone. Now, Samsung has secure folders. That's pretty dope. But nothing beats being able to just switch just like this. The press of one button and go automatically into thought mode. Boom. There it is. So, fellas, this is how this works. All right, let me, let me, let me go back to gentleman status. All right, now say I'm being a gentleman and I'm just chilling on my phone. I'm on Instagram. All right, Instagram. Y'all know how my Instagram gets. Kind of spicy. Say I'm on Instagram, zooming in like, oh, okay. And say, you know, say your girl just woke up like, yo, what you laughing? What's so funny? Are you on Instagram again? Nah. Let me see. Open your phone. I right Let me. I just unlocked my phone and gave it to you. What Instagram? I don't even use Instagram. I, you're always overreacting. I don't even use Instagram. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe you was on Facebook. I don't use Facebook either. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the low. I, I'm one of these people that's off the grid. I don't use Facebook. I don't use Twitter. I don't use TikTok. I don't use none of this bullshit. I, I don't use my phone to talk to you. You need to calm down. All right? You know, matter of fact, you need to apologize. Now, you go and get, you get mad. Use the reverse psychology. Get mad. Go to your room. Hit that button. <laughs> Go to your room, hit that button, and you're back to the spiciness, all right? You're back to the spiciness with the press of one button, all right? So, <laughs> now look, I, I know I'm just joking, all right? I'm just joking. I don't advocate doing any of that kind of silliness, but you can. All right, you can if you want to. Black protection. Triple major go. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. There's two more things that I want to talk about real quick. Now, this is the Snyder Cut. I told you all this was going to be long. Accessories. Now, here's where the Galaxy S21 Ultra still wins. Accessories. You got companies like Pataka, one of my favorite companies. You got Spigen, Out of Box, Under, uh, uh, what you call it, um, Urban Armor Gear, VRS. Every company that makes cases is going to have a case available for this phone. You're not going to have a shortage or problem finding the case. One of the downsides about some of these phones is if you go on Amazon right now and look for cases, you're going to find a whole bunch of shits that look like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to find a whole bunch of bullshit cases. If you want to do these phone accessory guys like me, you're not going to have the biggest selection of accessories, but you still got the best phone. I, I just wish a lot more companies. And as part of it is, if Xiaomi can find some way to make its way to mainstream USA, all right, look, if this phone was being sold in the store right now, next to this phone, Samsung would have a serious problem. A lot of people don't know about this phone. I blew this guy's mind last night when I showed him that secondary display. Mind blown. He never heard of Xiaomi. If Xiaomi was a household name, same thing with Huawei, all right, Huawei, did I say it right? Huawei, same thing with them. If there was a household name and everybody knew that, there was options. If everybody knew that, you didn't have to just go Android, Samsung, Galaxy, or iPhone. If people knew about phones like this, it would be a problem for Samsung. But I just wish that a lot of these manufacturers start making more accessories. UAG, I'm talking directly to y'all. UAG, speaking, we need accessories for Huawei phones and for the Xiaomi phones, all right? Now, I've been saying Xiaomi. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my Asian friends hit me up and said, you got to say Xiaomi, all right? So I've been saying Xiaomi all of these years, Xiaomi, all right? Shout out to all my Asian brethren out there that told me how to say it correctly. I appreciate that. Now, we got one more thing I got to talk about. All right, one more thing we got to talk about, the floss factor. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what the floss factor is, that means when you go out to dinner, all right, you go out to dinner, you go hang out with your boys, and you put your phone on the table, you got your iPhone 12 Pro Max, your homeboy got his Galaxy S21 Ultra, all right, your other homeboy, maybe he got Galaxy S21 Plus, Somebody pull out, uh, what, do I got any other phones down here? Let me see, just for comparison. I got mostly Galaxies down here. The bottom line is, all of these phones hit the table, right? Now, y'all know, when you're, out, when you're out for drinks or you're having dinner, everybody got their phone on the table, and if you're a real gentleman, you put your phone face down, all right? Everybody, want, you want to see your phones face down. We don't want to be paparazzi when you're at the dinner table. Put your phone down, don't take no sneak pictures, get off your phone, interact in real life. 
Here's the floss factor. When you come out with your Xiaomi, I Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, where do you fit in on the food chain? All right, are you on the top of the food chain looking like an apex predator? All right, looking like a fucking dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Or are you on the bottom of the food chain looking like a gazelle grazing on some grass? All right, where do you fit in? Ladies and gentlemen, all right, now we all know the iPhone is extra trendy. We already know Team Samsung Galaxy Knights in the building. But when you pull out this Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra and you activate that secondary display, first of all, everybody that's on the table, you don't got a secondary display. Y'all got to be quiet for a minute because I'm talking. All right. In the middle of the conversation, we, we having a big phone war, which if you're a fucking nerd like me and you hang out with a lot of nerds, all right, we do nerd shit. So a lot of nerds, when we go out, we all got our phones on the table. Yo, somebody going to spark up a phone war. Yo, I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I got the best, most steady video camera on the market. Look at the build quality. This is the phone that Nicki Minaj got. You know, this is the phone that that, that uh, Michael Mc, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Everybody you know got the iPhone, bro. I'm in the loop. Your man is gonna come out with the Galaxy. Like, bro, I need you to calm down. I got the Galaxy S21 Ultra, and as Flossy would call it, the Five Gangster Alpha Omega Supreme. I got reverse wireless charging. All right, I got reverse wireless charging. I could go in my pocket right now and pull out my new fancy key and charge it up. You can't do that. So you gotta fall back. All right, you gotta fall back. Now he's the boss until you pull out the Mi 11 Ultra and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. The secondary display, you wanna take a picture? Secondary display, no, let me charge that key for you and still use my phone. Let me get a phone call and accept it while I'm on the table. We wanna take a group picture? Let me do the wide angle. I'm getting the whole group and the waiter and the bus boy. I'm getting everybody in the picture, all right? So when you pull out this phone, everybody else gotta be quiet and everybody else gotta listen to what you gotta say because you the dinosaur. All right, you the Tyrannosaurus Rex, you got the little arms, you know what I'm saying? You the big boy on the block. Now, don't get me wrong, all right? This is, this is like a lion and this is a hyena, all right? If you see a pack of hyenas coming together, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me show you what it look like in real life, all right? You see a pack of, you see a pack of dudes, this is a pack of hyenas coming at you and you got your Mi 11 Ultra, you, you know what I'm saying? They, they might gang up on you, but still one lion could still scare away a whole pack of hyenas if it's a real lion. And this is a real lion right here. They all rrr, talking all that shit. Secondary display, all right? So, hold up, look at that, hold up. Secondary display. Rrr. Oh, okay, okay, they gotta they got go, all right? Secondary display, they gotta fall back. 67 watt fast wireless charging and fast wire charging, rrr. they gotta go, all right? Now look, if we wanna play phone wars, this is the phone that you want. All right, you want to get it for IR Blaster? Hold up. Matter of fact, be quiet for a second. Let me turn on the TV in the, in the restaurant because y'all need to hear me talk. Now, we're trying to have a phone war. They playing a, they playing a soccer game. Now, nah, hold up, man. I, I ain't trying to hit a soccer game. I'm about to shut y'all down in the phone war. Let me go ahead and pair this up to the TV. Okay, got it paired up. Watch this, y'all. Power button. Bloop. That's the end of the TV. All right, that's the end of the TV. Now sit back and listen to the, re the rest of what I had to say. I was just in the middle of shitting on you about your slow wireless charging and your slow wire charging, your non-secondary display. I was just in the middle of the, wait, hold on a second. Now we, now we nerds, but you know, nerds, we still get girls too. Here come the girls coming back to the table. All right, all, right, all of y'all getting ready to turn your ringers off and put your phone on silent and do all your scumbag stuff. If you got the big boy, you ain't gotta do none of that. All you gotta do is press one button and leave your phone like this. Now, you're the only gentleman on the table. All your boys got their phones upside down like this. They nervous. You got your phone on the table looking like a G. Nevertheless, all right, get these Samsung trash out of here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nevertheless, on a scale of 1 to 10, all right, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra 5 Gangster, all right, because this is the new 5 Gangster, is a major, major, major go. That's a triple major go. This is 100% white shoes approved. Now, even after all of this stuff is going on, and you see all these big boys on the table, you got the iPhone and all that, there is, there is, one, there is one creature that can come through and really just hurt all of y'all, and that creature is the Galaxy Fold. All right? Now look, this could be the, this could be a Tyrannosaurus, Dinosaur, this is, this is Serta, all right? This is the fire dr the, the fire demon, all right, from Thor Ragnarok. This is the Ragnarok phone, all right? This is Serta from Ragnarok. I don't care what, this could be a, this could be a lion, tiger, a lion, this could be a tiger, dinosaur, 
I lion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These are a pack of hyenas foaming at the mouth that didn't eat in, in a week. When you come out with the Ragnarok phone and you open this shit up like this, uh, you open this phone up like this, this is another ball game right here. Now, I don't really consider this a phone. I consider this a hybrid because it's really a phone slash tablet. But we're talking about floss factor. All right. You, you what now? Look, I was just doing all that talking. But if somebody pulled this out, even, even me, I would put, I'll be like, all right, hold on a second. I'll put this shit in my pocket and be like, well, what, what you got to say here? This is the Galaxy Fold. All right. So now we've been cracking on Samsung all day, all day, but. The Galaxy Fold is still the top dog out right now. There's really no other phones besides the Xiaomi Fold, which um, I heard that phone is plagued by a few issues. I'm looking to get one to review though. But right now, man, this Galaxy Fold, mm, mm, when it, when, you gotta see people's face, man. When you, you know, cause if you really wanna get somebody, this is how you do them. You, get, you do them like this, all right? Look, you still got the same video lock screen that you got on all your Galaxy phones. You wanna hurt somebody, you do them like this, you act like it's a regular phone, you do your thing, you go like this, let me show you. You take it over to, um, take it over to Instagram, right? So while you're on Instagram, now look, a media spice, let me get rid of that. Say you're on Instagram and you're like, oh yeah, let me see, let me show you, let's find a little video. Okay, you're scrolling through Instagram, and somebody's like, oh, who that, yo? Oh, look at, you know, try to come over and look. you like, oh, watch this, yo. And look at this. Bang, full size. Full size. Ragnarok. I, this is the Ragnarok phone right here. When, when this phone comes out, it's Ragnarok. But until then, all right, if you just saw my regular phones, this is the new five gangster right here. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. I couldn't give it a quad major go because, nah, I'm so I don't want to overuse that ranking. All right, this, this phone did blow me away, but the battery, the battery drain using the camera, and um, I wish that you no, know, that I heard Xiaomi has something that's similar to Samsung wireless Dex, which is one of the best features on any phone, wireless decks. So if you got your Samsung S21, don't, you know, I've, I've been cracking a lot of jokes, but don't feel bad. You still got wireless decks, all right? You still doing it big. Wireless decks, if you've never seen that feature, it's like having a laptop and a phone in your pocket at the same time. All right, I'm not traveling nowhere without my wireless decks. Now I heard Xiaomi is coming out with a feature that's similar to that, but it's not on this phone right now. If that feature would have been on this phone, I would have gave it a quad major go because I could deal with the slight battery drain issues and all the little petty gripes that I had. But right now, it's still stuck on a quad, on a, on a triple major go. Oh, man, look, let me just wipe this down one more time. I hope y'all had a good time, man. Right, I hope y'all had a good time. I know this video is extremely long, but like I always tell people in my comment section when they be like, oh, your video is too long. Look, bro, this is not a sales commercial. This is a review. Chances are a lot of y'all watching this video is getting ready to drop a thousand bucks or like I did 1150 or if you get the marble version 12 uh, uh, 1200 and change if you're getting ready to spend that kind of money You don't need to watch a three-minute video a sales pitch You want to see how the phone actually works in day-to-day -day. you want to hear stories about how the phone works That's just my personal opinion. Look if the video if you think the video is too long feel free to skip it skip through it or feel free to not watch it. I'm not gonna change my style because some of y'all don't like long videos. I I know personally, when I'm getting ready to buy something that's a thousand bucks or 2,500 bucks and I go on YouTube and I see two, three, four minute videos, I'm skipping those immediately. I'm going to the person that's really going in depth and talking about every feature and giving his personal opinions on that product. So like I said, for the last 10 years, I make my YouTube videos the way I like to watch my YouTube videos. I, I, when I watch my YouTube vid the videos that I like to watch, I don't need to see a whole bunch of fancy editing, nothing wrong with that, but I don't really care about the fancy editing and the fancy backgrounds and all the theme music and the tricks and all that. I just want I just want to know your personal opinions and give it to me straight. All right, that's what I want, and hopefully that's the experience that I'm delivering to y'all. Classic, old school YouTube. You don't gotta see my face. The video ain't about me. The video's about the phone. Look at the phone for as much as you want. I know there's nothing really fancy to keep y'all, you know, keep you interested in on, on the screen. I could probably talk and go like this at the same time, but on my videos, I don't do voiceovers. I don't do scripts. I do minimum editing and maximum bullshit.
<laughs> anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys around. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spark one to be my Energize. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to do the real review for the Oppo Find X3 Pro. Oh, 